As Honduran President Xiomara Castro held talks across the Pacific on the country's first ever state visit to China, we spoke to a number of her cabinet ministers here in the capital about what this trip means for this Central American country. Ricardo Salgado is Honduras's Minister of Strategic Planning. This has been a gigantic step for the country. For the first time in 200 years, the country is not obeying the rules of another foreign power, but making its own decision. For Honduras to open sovereign relations with China has been to break the banana republic stereotype which is so often ascribed to us. For Honduras's social development minister, Jose Cardona, the new relationship with China is a vital step for the country's identity on the world stage. Una refundación total de la ascripción geopolítica de Honduras. With this new relationship with China, we are seeing a total redefinition of the geopolitics of Honduras. This country has suffered through many years of colonialism and to establish sovereign and respectful relations with a country which respects us is revolutionary and speaks of our new place in the world. For Vice Foreign Minister Gerardo Torres, it's an important step for one of the world's poorest countries. Bueno, es un momento histórico sin duda para el país. La voluntad, el cariño, la amistad que se ha expresado en esos días. It's a historic moment for the country, and the willingness and friendship that have been expressed over the last few days will bring results. We must learn from China how it has turned its accelerated rate of economic growth into the reduction of poverty and hunger. Para el tema del combate a la pobreza y el hambre. Ultimately, this Central American country's government says its relations with China will help its own prosperity. This successful visit of President Castro to China will quickly translate into concrete actions here in Honduras. We are all feeling proud and satisfied with the state visit. Alastair Babastok, CGTN, Tegucigalpa, Honduras.